Hello everyone, this is Teacher V and welcome back dito sa akin channel. Week 4 to 5 na tayo ng grade 9 mathematics at ang lesson natin dito is tungkol sa word problems involving right triangles. At ang ginamit kong reference dito ay ang leaf or learner's packet from Region 4A, Calabarzon. Meron na rin akong nagawang mga videos from week 1 up to week 3. So, i-check nyo na lang sa ating description box below. And huwag kalimutan na i-like ang video na to at mag-iwan ng comment para mas lalong ganahan si Teacher V sa paggawa ng mga ganitong klase ng videos. And huwag din kalimutan na i-share to sa mga kaklase mo para makatulong ka rin sa kanila. Alright, now, let's get started. Let's see. And first, we're going to find the height of the plug pole. Merong given na 60 degree angle para sa angle of elevation dito sa angle A and another angle dito sa angle of depression which is 30 degrees. Tapos ang distance ng babae from the plug pole is 4 meters. So unahin muna natin isolve yung angle B or yung angle of depression. So ito yung ating gagamitin reference yung 30 degree. And since ang hahanapin natin is height ng plug pole, kailangan natin makuha yung measurement nito. Nung segment DE. Okay? Then, may given tayo na hypotenuse. Since given ang hypotenuse, then hahanapin ang opposite, anong trigonometric ratios ang involved dito? So, tandaan nyo yung sokatowa. So, opposite and hypotenuse para sa sine, adjacent and hypotenuse sa cosine, opposite and adjacent sa tangent. So, anong ratio ang pwede natin gamitin? Okay, gagamitin natin yung sine kasi opposite yung hinahanap natin and then ito yung given 4 meters para sa ating hypotenuse. Okay, so substitute natin. Sine 30 degrees, so 30 yan dahil ito yung ating angle. Opposite over 4 which is yung ating hypotenuse. Then cross multiply. Pag kinross multiply natin yan, magiging opposite is equal to 4 times the sine 30. So, kunin nyo lang yung calculator, scientific calculator at pindu 10, yung 4, then i-times nyo sa sine 30. Kung wala kayong calculator, pwede naman yung inyong mga cellphone. So, hanapin nyo lang doon yung sine. Then, ang lalabas dyan is 2 meters. Kaya ang measurement, itong segment DE, okay, is 2 meters. So, next is solve naman natin yung triangle COD para makuha rin natin yung measurement ng segment CD. Tapos, idadagdag natin sa 2 meters na nakuha natin dito. So, ang gagamitin natin is itong measurement ng segment OD, which is 4 meters. Kung ano yung layo ng babae sa plug pole, yun din ang measurement dito ng OD. So, 4 meters din. And, ang hahanapin natin is opposite. Ngayon, ang question ko sa inyo, ano yung 4 meters dito? Ang 4 meters dito, o yung measurement na to, ay hindi na hypotenuse. Kanina kasi sa sign 30 degrees, hypotenuse siya. Pero this time, dito sa angle natin na 60 degrees, siya ay adjacent side na, or katabing side ng ating angle. So, adjacent and yung opposite. So, anong trigonometric ratio ang gagamitin natin? Involve yung opposite and adjacent side. Ang gagamitin natin is tangent. So, tangent 60 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. Ang opposite side is yung segment CD and yung adjacent side is 4 meters. So, substitute lang natin. Tangent 60 degrees is equal to opposite over 4. Then, cross multiply. We have opposite is equal to 4 times tangent 60. So, kunin ulit ang inyong scientific calculator or yung cell phone. Pindutin yung 4. Then, yung tangent 60. Then, equals Ang lalabas dyan is 6.93 meters. So, niround off to na lang into two decimal places. And huwag kalimutan yung unit of measure, meters. Okay, so nakuha na natin yung segment CD or yung opposite side, 6.93 meters. Ngayon, ano kaya ang height na ating plug pole? Pwede na natin makuha ang height na ating plug pole by adding 2 meters sa 6.93 meters. Okay, ang sagot is... 8.93 meters. So, pinag-add lang natin. Kasi, height ng plug pole ang itinatanong. Okay? So, 8.93 meters. Next, punta na tayo sa another problem. So, we're going to find the measurement of angle A given itong measurement itong 3 tapos itong 
distance niya ng point natin from the tree. So, 12 meters and then 6 meters. Then, hinahanap yung angle A. Yung 6 meters is opposite na ating angle A. And then, ito ay adjacent side or katabing side. So, opposite and adjacent. Ano trigonometric ratio ang gagamitin natin? So, we have tangent. So, towa yan kasi opposite over adjacent. So, tangent na gagamitin natin. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, let's substitute. Ang opposite na rin is 6 meters over 12 para sa ating adjacent side. And we have 0 0.5. Then, kunin natin yung angle niya. Ngayon, pag kukuha tayo ng angle, tandaan nyo ito, gagamit tayo ng shift or second function sa inyong mga calculator. Or yung may makikita kayo sa cellphone nyo na tangent raised to negative 1. So, dapat ganun ang lalabas. Okay, so, pakita ko siya sa inyo. And, ang lalabas nga dyan is 26.57. Ibig sabihin, ang angle ng angle A is 26.57. So, niround off ko na lang din into two decimal places. Alright, so, ganun lang kadali mag-solve ng ating right triangles. Kailangan lang alam mo yung sokatowa or yung sine, cosine, and tangent. And alam mo mag-identify kung ano yung opposite side, adjacent side. And make sure na naiintindihan mo yung problem para alam mo kung paano i-illustrate yung mga given. Okay? Pwede kang gumamit ng mga drawings, figures para mas ma-visualize mo yung problem. Alright, so next, punta na tayo sa next part. Okay, solve the following problems. So a ladder 7 meters long leans against the wall of a building. If the foot of the ladder makes an angle of 68 degrees with the ground, how far is the base of the ladder from the wall? So, assuming this is our wall and this is our ladder, ang ladder natin is 7 meters long. So, itong sukat niya is 7 meters. Ay nabuong angle na 68 degrees sa ladder to the ground. Okay, paano ngayon natin masusukat? Yung layo. Ang tinatanong dito is how far is the base of the ladder from the wall? So, gano'ng kalayo yung ladder dito sa ating wall? So, yan ang magiging x natin. So, paano natin ito isusog? Agagamitan lang natin ng sokatowa ulit or sine, cosine or tangent. So, i-identify natin yung x, anong part ba siya ng 68 degree angle? Ito ay adjacent side at itong 7 meters naman ay hypotenuse. So, anong trigonometric ratios ang gumagamit ng adjacent and the hypotenuse? Okay, so cosine. Ka or cosine. So, we can say that cosine 68 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Ang adjacent natin is x. Lagay na lang muna natin x kasi hindi pa natin alam. And ang ating hypotenuse is 7 meters or simply 7. Then, cross multiply. Pag kinross multiply natin, we have x is equal to 7 times cosine 68. So, pindutin ulit sa inyong mga calculator. Pindutin yung 7, then times natin sa cos sine, then 68 degrees, then pindutin yung equal sign. Ang lalabas na sagot is 2.62 meters. So, meaning to say, layo ng ating ladder from the wall is 2.62 meters. Okay, next. Another problem. A man 1.5 meters tall is on the top of a building. He observes a car on the road at an angle of 75 degrees. If the building is 31 meters high, how far is the car from the building? Okay, okay so 31 meters yung height ng building and then yung height ng lalaki na nasa tuktok ng ating building is 1.5 meters. And merong nabuong angle na 75 degrees, okay, from here sa car. So dahil ito ay pababa ang angle, this is an angle of depression, right? So, 75 degrees yung nabuo dyan. And here, maglagay tayo ng imaginary line. So, ito ay magiging 32.5 meters. Bakit naging 32.5 meters? Kasi itong 31 meters plus yung ating 1.5 meters na height ng laki, kaya naging 32.5. And na hinahanap is yung distance ng car dito sa ating building. Okay, so, now... We have the triangle and we have the angle of depression, 75 degrees. Pagkatapos, naging 32.5 meters to dahil pinag-add natin yung 31 meters na height ng building 
Then sa height ng man na 1.5 meters, so 32.5 meters. At ang hinahanap is yung gano'ng kalayo yung car sa building. So ito na yon yung X natin. So para masolve to, i-identify natin yung mga given and yung unknown. Ang unknown is the adjacent side of our angle. O ito yung katabing side ng angle natin na 75 degrees. And itong side naman na to, yung opposite nitong ating angle. So, opposite and adjacent. So, ano kayang trigonometric ratio yung gagamitin natin na involve yung opposite and adjacent side? So, tama kayo, tangent or towa. So, opposite over adjacent. So, tangent 75 is equal to opposite over adjacent. Substitute lang natin yung opposite. Yung opposite side is yung katapat na side. So, that is 32.5 over yung ating adjacent side is x. So, cross multiply. Ayan na siya. 32.5 is equal to x times tangent 75 degrees. Okay, now we divide both sides to tangent 75 degrees. Dinivide natin both sides para makancel. Maiwan yung x kasi x ang hinahanap natin, right? So, we have... 32.5 divide natin sa tangent 75 degrees. So, pindutan ulit sa inyong mga calculator. 32.5, then i-divide sa tangent 75. We have 8.71. So, ang x natin dito is 8.71 meters. Now, kung 8.71 yung na-compute natin sa x or dun sa adjacent side ng 75 degree angle, therefore, 8.71 din yung layo nitong car sa building. Okay, 8.71. 0.71 meters. And last problem, an airplane took off from an airport and traveled at a constant rate and angle of elevation. When the airplane reached an altitude of 400 meters, its horizontal distance from the airport was found to be 235 meters. What was the angle when the airplane rose from the ground? Or airplane yan, galing siya dito sa airport, so pataas. And the Meron tayong altitude of 400 meters. Ayan, yung taas niya is 400 meters. And, and yung horizontal distance ng airplane from the airport is 235 meters. Ang question nga is yung angle. What was the angle when the airplane rose the ground? So, ito yung hinahanap natin, yung angle of elevation. So, we have opposite side of angle X and adjacent side of angle X. So, opposite and adjacent. So, tangent ulit ang gagamitin natin. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Ang opposite side is 400. Then, yung adjacent side is 235. So, divide lang natin. And then, kunin natin yung theta niya by seeing our scientific calculator. So, pipindutin nyo lang yung second function or yung shift, then yung tan. tan. Or, kung pwede rin naman sa cellphone nyo nyo, yung tangent raised to negative 1. Okay. At ang lalabas dyan is 59.57. So, mas maganda kung pagka-divide ninyo dito, compute nyo na agad yung tangent. I-diretsyo nyo ng pindutin. Okay? I Meaning to say, ang angle natin here is 59.57 degrees. Or simply, kung gusto nyo whole number, 60 degrees. Okay, and that's it. I hope na nakatulong ang video ni Teacher V para masagutan mo yung mga word problems. Totoo, hindi siya madali. Minsan, mahirap i-analyze yung mga word problem, di ba? Pero kailangan lang kung hindi mo naiintindihan sa unang pagbasa, basahin mo siya ulit hanggang sa maintindihan mo. And then next, i-drawing mo siya para ma-visualize mo yung problem. At malaman mo kung ano yung unknown or kailangan mong hanapin. Then, pwede mo na ngayon gamitin. It's either sine, cosine, and tangent. Depende kung ano yung given and kung ano yung hinahanap mo. Okay, and gamitin ang inyong scientific calculator or cellphone kasi mahirap mag-solve ng tangent and sign ng mano-mano. Okay, kailangan meron ka talagang calculator dito. Alright, that's it. Kung may mga questions ka pa, tanong mo lang kay Teacher B at mag-comment ka lang sa baba. See you again sa susunod. Huwag kalimutan na i-like, i-share, at mag-subscribe sa channel ni Teacher B. And follow me also on my Facebook page, We Teach Channel. Spread natin yung love sa mathematics. Kita-kita tayo ulit next time and goodbye!